So I really wish I would have started doing this, recording this, before I started doing the mobility training. In 2020, I got cancer. At the end of 2020, I went through chemo and radiation. That ended in October or November. I don't remember where it's, when exactly that was. In 2021, I was kind of going through like the chemo and radiation recovery, and actually I'm still going through that. And prior to getting cancer, I worked out a lot. Generally four to six days a week, generally three hours a day, twice a day in the morning, in the evening. Um, I did multiple kinds of workouts. I did interval cardio training, but I did it at a high resistance. So it's kind of more like a um, full body workout with weights. And that was on a Bowflex M8 Max. So it's kind of like an elliptical meets a, a stair stepper. And I would do that at a really high resistance on intervals, generally uh, 21 or 45 minutes every morning, six days a week. During Monday through Friday of that week, I would do five by five strong lifts. And sometimes I would do five by five ice cream uh, ICF and then sometimes I would alternate those two because I always try to vary my workouts so that my body doesn't get used to um, everything going on now with that in mind I also used to take and alter my cardio it's not like I did the same cardio every day that's how you get yourself in trouble that's how your body plateaus and you can't ever move forward. So I'm constantly changing my workouts. So during 2021, after the cancer treatment, I really couldn't work out. My diet just couldn't support the way I like to work out, which is all or nothing, 150% or 0%. There's no in between. Um, but 2022 in May, I decided I had been increasing my diet gradually each week all during 2021 into 2022 and then when I got up into about the 3,000 to 3,500 calorie range being mostly sedentary by the way and I still wasn't gaining weight I was like god what is going on but at that point in time I knew I could do some relatively light workouts so I started to kind of like ease back into working out at a very slow pace, which is really hard for me to do. That's actually harder than going full blast because I like to give it my all and here I am saying, ah, oh, you can only do 25%. That kind of brings you to now, I've been working out now for about 10 weeks. You can't tell it, but during the cancer treatment, I lost nearly 50 pounds. That was nearly all muscle mass. I don't want to tell you what I weighed at the end of cancer treatment. It's absolutely horrible. I haven't weighed that amount since probably middle school. That bad. But I have put some of that weight on and continue to increase slightly as I go. But when the five by five got to be to a point where I felt like I wasn't getting my workout in, I started doing accessory lifts which is kind of sort of what 5x5 five five ICF is. That's just a 5x5 five five with accessory lifts. But before I switched over, so I was kind of like in between doing the 5x5 five five strong lifts, but I wanted to move toward 5x5 five five ICF and I wasn't quite sure if I was ready for that yet because that's a lot more load at once. So I started just doing some simple exercises during that transition and one of the things i was doing was taking just standard dumbbells like a dumbbell in each hand and then doing this and right off the bat i realized there was an issue because this arm could go way up you see it's going way up and this arm could only come to about right here now I've gotten this to go up slightly more now, but you notice, what you'll notice is for me to go up higher, I have to twist my body. Where this side is not like that. 
See, I can go up without twisting my body, no problem. This side, I can go to here. Now I gotta start twisting my body. Now I kinda gotta explain that the cancer was on this side, in my neck. And actually, if I take my shirt off, this isn't something I'm gonna do very often, but for you to understand this, I've gotta do this. What I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to my shoulder area through here compared to my shoulder area through here. You'll see it very clearly. This side is obviously lacking even after 10 weeks of working out. This side's starting to fill out pretty good. I realized the uh, video I did isn't gonna show the problem. So I have to kind of do it like up here. All right, so if I turn this way, Look at like where my shoulder meets my neck. See that? All right, now if I do it on this side, look at where my shoulder meets my neck. Now I'll do the other side again. Look at where my shoulder meets my neck. Look at where my shoulder meets my neck. So you see like this vein area here, this is all scar tissue. It's all sunken in, like really sunken in deep here. You can stick my whole finger in there. Like this just isn't filling out at all. And it's really kind of like, it's, it's really crazy noticeable at certain times. Like this is just me kind of like shrugging my shoulder. Now watch, this is me shrugging my shoulder. Me shrugging my shoulder. All right? Me shrugging my shoulder. See the difference? That's what I mean by the scar tissue. Once I realized I had a mobility issue, I had to basically stop doing those workouts because if I kept continued to do them, I was basically just going to injure myself. But um, I've been doing something now for about a week and I can already see the difference. Now I'm kind of guessing it's going to take me about four to six weeks to get this mobility back or maybe even longer than that. But I am seeing promise that what I'm doing is working and I wanted to show you what that was because it's very simple. In my home gym, I've got a full squat rack. I have a Bowflex M8 Max. I've got a series of dumbbells. I have a recumbent bike. I've got this Gold's Gym, which is basically a resistance station. Then I've got this incline bench, and I got some other trap bar, curl bars. I mostly do just straight up weightlifting these days. Over here, you've got this upper thing for doing like tricep extensions, right? What I've been doing to increase the mobility of my arm, the other thing is too, if my arm is in front of me, it has more mobility, not quite right. It can only go to here. It can't go all the way up or this can go all the way up. See that? So I have lower mobility there but it's high enough to where I can reach this trap bar. So all I've been really doing is kind of like grabbing a hold of this trap bar and then bending my knees to force my arm upward. And I can feel that stretching right here, something horrible. But I'm not overdoing it, it's not painful, I can just feel it stretching. And that's what I've been doing. So I've been doing it every day for a week and I can already see a difference. Now I have to do it in the opposite direction also because it's also got lower mobility. So I face the trap bar. So that way it's like I'm raising my arm out in front of me and I do the same thing. So it's kind of like I'm leaning into it and that's basically stretching. I can feel literally the tendons in my underarms right in this area here. That's all stretching that out. Also in the back. I don't really know what all that stuff's called. I just wanted to share this information. 
in case someone else gets the same kind of cancer or has the same issue and then I spoke to the doctors and they gave me some other workouts but I'm gonna be honest with you, that's kind of stuff where you're like doing this and bigger circles maybe with the physical therapist they would kind of understand what my problem is my problem is I literally it's because the tendons and muscles are just all tense up so I got to slowly stretch those to get the mobility back and it's been working for a week I'll go ahead and do another update um, today is today's July 1st I started doing those stretches last Friday so it has been exactly a week that I've been doing those stretches but I'll update as this goes on and we'll see how this progresses and uh, we'll just take it from there and uh, if you have the power to accomplish something you will always accomplish it and failure to me is never an option so no quitting here by me won't ever be quitting by me i will get back in shape i will gain that 50 pounds back i will get full mobility back mark my words as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads